Hello everyone, this is a continuation of our NumPy tutorials. If you have not seen my first two tutorials, then I would say pause right now, go watch them first and then you can continue on this one. Here is the list of topics that we are going to cover in this tutorial. Okay, let's first begin by indexing and slicing. Now you all know that when you have a normal Python list like this, you can use the index range like this to get the list of elements so when you do n0 to 2 what it will do is it will go from 0 to 1 so this is 0 1 2 it will not cover 2 but it will cover these two so that's what it does it also supports minus one index so minus one means start from the end so it will print the very last element okay now uh, numpy array supports similar kind of uh, slicing so here i'm going to create numpy array i will initialize it with same elements and if you do zero to two here you see you get the same result as what you got with a normal python list okay it also supports a uh, reverse index so this is the syntax is pretty similar to list uh, how you slice the list so if you know list slicing then you can use the same concept for numpy array as well now let's uh, go through a multi-dimensional array so here let's say i have a multi-dimensional array so if you print it it looks like this now here when you do a one two what will happen is you are going through the so here this is a row this is a column okay so this is zero row, one row so you are going through this first row and you are looking at the second element so 0 1 2 so which is 3 okay so that's what it is printing when you do something like this what will happen is it will go through 0 to second row okay now always when you are doing slicing the this particular index is not included so it will actually go from 0 to 1 so zero row, first row and then it will print second element so in these two rows the second element is eight in three so that's what it is printing here you can also do a minus one oops so a minus one is the last element so last element here is this last row so that's what it is printing and in that last row so always remember this is your row and after row you have column so let's say in column you want to print column 0 to 2 so 0 to 2 means 0 and 1 so it's in the last row it's printing 9 and 3 now let's say if you want to go through all the rows and print these two columns let's say you want to print 7 2 3 and 8 3 2 how will you do that so the syntax for going through all the rows is just a column so if you have just a column it will go through all the rows and then now you want to go through first row and second row so to include first you will say first now if i say second it will not include this guy here okay so i have to say three here cool now let's see how you would uh, iterate through an array so i'm going to initialize the same array here and if you look at this array it's sort of like a table you have rows and you have columns now if you want to iterate through rows you will just say for row in a print row pretty straightforward okay and if you want to print individual cells then again row is also sort of like a list so you can iterate through it and you can individual print individual numbers okay now sometimes you want to flatten the list and print every cell 
So NumPy has this method call flat. You can do for cell in a dot flat print cell. What this is doing is it is just flattening this as as if it's a single dimensional array and you can now iterate through the entire array. Next item is uh, stacking two arrays together. So for example, let's say you have these two arrays. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm initializing array with numbers zero to five and I'm reshaping it by three by two uh, shape, okay? And then I have my B, which is like this. So if you print A and B, it looks like this. Okay, so you have got, let's say, two two-dimensional arrays. Now, if you want to vertically stack them together, just imagine you have put this array as if it's a box and you're putting this over another box, okay? So NumPy supports that. So in NumPy, you will do np.vstack A and B. Uh, Okay, I had a problem with the syntax. You, the argument is tuple actually. Okay, so you can see that it kind of tagged them together as if there were like two boxes and you just put one box over the other. Okay, you can do same thing uh, with horizontal stacking as well. So let's say, let's say these are two boxes and you want to horizontally put them side by side. Uh, you can do the same thing with h stack command, which is horizontal stacking so you can see 0 1 3 so this was my first array and this is my second array this could be pretty useful feature based on what kind of requirement you have all right now what we are going to look at is the horizontal split split so I'm again initializing one more array and this array is having two rows and 15 columns now if you want to split this array into let's say three different arrays so i want to just imagine i am vertically slicing them into three different equal size arrays you can do that using at split command uh, at split command is at numpy module it is not at indi individual array uh, if you do that you can see that it kind of split into three different arrays. Now it's kind of hard to visualize this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the result into a variable, which is a list and just print those things one by one. So you can see that now I kind of vertically slice these big array into three different arrays by doing at split. So three means divide it into uh, three different um, equal sized arrays okay now you can do the same thing with a vertical split here i can do a vertical split which is let's say i have only two rows so i could just divide it into two uh, i can do make only two divisions out of it so if you do result zero and result one they look like this so what i did is vertically i kind of cut them uh, into two arrays so this, this the second argument tells you like how many partitions you want to make out of your original array which is here okay now another topic we want to cover is indexing with boolean arrays this is pretty powerful it's kind of like non-intuitive uh, if you have just used list then it, you will not never think that this kind of awesome feature exists in numpy so i'm going to initialize one array and kind of reshape it to three four by the way this practice is quite popular whenever you want to initialize array with fixed set of numbers and then you want to kind of reshape it this is what you do this is better than kind of typing all these elements by hand you know so it's i kind of like it okay now I have got this numpy array, all right? Now let's say I have this B variable and if I do A greater than four, what's gonna happen is it's gonna create another numpy array and it's gonna store the result of this expression into individual elements. So here zero is less than, zero is not greater than four, so it's false. 
versus 11 is greater than 4 so at that location it is true okay so pretty cool I got now two arrays this one is numbers and this one is boolean now what you can do is something like this now you might not have seen this before okay so here this is array and the index of that array is array itself now let's see what's gonna happen when you do this okay cool so what it did is it looked at b array and then wherever it found true it returned those elements from this original array so you can see that 5 to 11 were true that's why you got 5 to 11 this is a cool way of extracting all the elements which are greater than 4 from your original array this is also useful if you want to replace those elements with a certain number so for example i can say a of b is equal to minus 1 and what will happen is any element that was greater than 4 you wanted to replace it with minus 1 and that's what it did so b it looks at all the true elements it returns those elements and all those elements are set to be minus 1 this is this could be really powerful based on what kind of application you're writing okay so that was all about uh, numpy array functions i hope you're having fun time learning numpy it's pretty powerful numpy arrays are very fast and memory efficient so if you are doing a lot of data manipulation and if you're looking for performance please use numpy it's very popular in data science and scientific community overall all right uh, thank you for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have question, please post a comment below.